If you want to publish your qualitative study in a Q1 Scopus Index journal, this video will reveal exactly how to present your qualitative results so that your research paper is more concise, precise, highlighting the key contribution of your qualitative paper, develops a coherent critical argument supported by evidence from your qualitative quotes, and as a result is publishable in a Q1 Scopus Index journal. And this will be based on a real example of live feedback that I gave to one of our clients on her qualitative research paper. Yeah, that's a very good idea. You have very long quotes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would aim to have shorter quotes that you can incorporate into your yeah. paragraphs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But so kind of more, more along these lines, like the quote that you have here, linked mm. to her unexpected third class scholarship, you know? That, that, yeah. that sort of quote, like where maybe it's like half a sentence, you know, mm. five to ten words, and then you can like incorporate it into your sentences, you know? Okay. Because at the moment mm. it seems that for every like small topic you have one big quote, but instead you could have like several shorter ones and then try to cut um, the words in here. Okay. So, so, so you mean I make the long, long paragraph of the, of the quotes, maybe some quoted in the paragraph to introduce it instead of put it in the whole paragraph here. Yeah, exactly. You can't see the quotes that well here because this journal wanted them in italics. So I don't know if you can actually mm. like see them very well, but like something like oh. this, right? So like, yeah. You, you say one sentence when you introduce, or it's two sentences here, you introduce like the main result and then mm -hmm. you give an example. Okay. Right. Uh, and there's another example here, right? That's better not. For example, and then there's another example. And then again, like one author also referred to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like you can see, and you can see this here as well, had to be included more for marketing than for pedagogy while others were also restricted. That's another quote here. Oh, right? sometimes it's even just one word, like some editor's yeah. response to attempts at including LFC features was described as epic. You know, it's just like one okay. word. Because yeah. 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 yeah the, the only thing that's important here was the word really. And yeah, yeah and there's one longish quote in here but like mm -hmm. most of them you can see are like fairly short like this yeah within paragraphs so i think that can maybe help you a little bit okay i got uh, it so for, for uh i have a question for this kind of the quotes in the paragraph normally the bracket should be the square bracket or it could be a non regular bracket you you have to i think normally they are um regular brackets but yeah. uh, I think you want to check with the journal style. Just just open one of their papers published there okay, uh, to okay. see. But I think it would be like the most common ones when I think about my own papers, it's normal brackets. I think it's just this journal that wanted something okay. like this. Yeah. Mm, I, I will check later. Yeah. Yeah. And the same, yeah. like, I think normally it's not in italics. I think it's usually the double quotation yeah, marks, yeah. single ones. But yeah, again, mm -hmm. it just depends on the journal okay yeah thank you i got it i will check okay uh, i will go back to check it okay later. That, yeah. does does this help in terms of like maybe where to cut your own yeah yeah yeah. it's results? very helpful for the results part because at the very beginning i thought the reason the code the codes could be just a deleted paragraph paragraph mm -hmm. but not i did not think it could be included in the paragraph yeah yeah, you can you can include them exactly. Yeah, um, mm. so so yeah, mm -hmm. this is and then this maybe is. there is some potential for just like we can see maybe like way making it a little bit more concise when you're describing. Mm. So uh, repeatedly mentioned about mental and physically exhausted. Like for example, this this could be a quote, like in here. Oh. Uh, you know that's that's like a perfect place you know to use a okay. short quote of like three words um, yeah yeah um,
this this what I'm doing here is not going to give you you know again like a thousand words, mm -hmm. but you can definitely reach yeah, yeah, yeah. like maybe no. 200 200 300 words probably if you were to yeah. do it for every single paragraph um mm. and and we're not losing any meaning here right it's mm. still the same the same uh, yeah uh, the decline in his well-being yeah i mean if we wanted to go really you know in that would be gold which can explain declining mm. his well-being from T1 to T2 and then we can even do it else, right? Okay. Mm. So that's that's how concise you could potentially be in here. Okay, yeah. Like... And, and let me suggest here something like, right? A similar decrease in well-being from T1 to T2 was experienced by Herr Yekum. Mm. Uh, and then you could have a quote here. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then you know, like you would maybe put some of what you have here. Yeah, yeah. Into, no. into mm -hmm. here, but yeah. But you see, like from you know, I don't know how many words was this previously, uh, but now it's just sixty-five words. Like you know, so mm. we got it down probably from like two hundred to maybe eighty yeah um and i think that's kind of like when you're going over the results this is this is i think what you what you want to be doing now that you know how to appropriately present the qualitative results for your research paper so that they are publishable in a q1 scopus index journal you might want to also be able to really present the methodology of your qualitative research so that it's to a Q1 Scopus Index Journal standard. And this next video reveals a fast, easy and proven step-by-step -step process that shows you exactly how to write the methodology for your qualitative research paper. So watch this video next.